Uh, so Serbia was not ready for our freedom. No, no. And while it did not look good, he bludgeoned them with a bald eagle. And Team USA is really maddening. Like if if you don't watch them, I would suggest not. <laughs> they, they are. They have every great player. They have. I think every single guy on the team, besides maybe Holiday, could win a scoring title in the NBA. It's pretty ridiculous. It it is ridiculous, but they are they're maddening. Like they don't. Again, I they don't win anything without LeBron. No, I mean LeBron James is the engine that makes that thing go. He's the only one that will rebound. <laughs> like Serbia, if you didn't watch the game, Serbia had nine offensive rebounds. Would you care to guess KD and Embiid, both seven feet, yeah. how many rebounds they combined for? <laughs> like Not six. a lot. Six total, <laughs> both offense and defense. Yeah, no. Steph Curry had more by himself. Yeah. Like the only guy that does anything other than score on that team yeah. is LeBron. There was there was a couple of moments down the stretch where in, in, in the, the final quarter where there was a there was a loose ball and you would just see people go out for it and you knew the US wasn't gonna get it, which is why like that end when when Embiid fumbled away that that rebound, I was like, Are you effing kidding me? And they swung it and I think uh I forget who it was, but the Serbian guy missed the three. But they got a wide open look because Embiid just dropped a they rebound. They were wide open all day. I know. Well, they they missed a 50, lot of wide open shots. They, they shot 50%. Well, it was better than I think they were ten of nineteen in the first half. Well, from and they the three have, point line. They have the Joker too. I mean, yeah. he's yeah. What a beast. And he's backing down or trying to back down LeBron at the end of the game. It's yeah. like when you have a guy like that, he's yeah. going to keep you in the game. But is, if you hate LeBron, then you hate freedom because dude, they, we is, don't win gold without it. LeBron James, and I think he's a douche, but LeBron dude, James. he may even be underrated. Uh, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he's incredible. He is. He really is. He's almost 40, dude. Yeah. And he now, all of a sudden, he looks gray. That I don't know where that came from. I haven't seen him in a while. Shockingly, his beard is gray. He looks like <laughs> Uncle Drew out there. And all he does is dominate. He is, and Steph had a huge day. Steph made nine threes. He, he scored 36 points. But the, the engine, and it's not even close, is LeBron. And, it, and it's, it's something to watch. I just think that, I think the U.S., and not to get all, I mean, this is, the, I think they're going to win the gold. But you, you better be freaking ready for France, dude. Yeah. Um, you got the rest of the world is catching up, and I think that I think Team USA is playing with a little fire because, as Buck mentioned, there is a changing of the guard here. This is probably the bronze, oh, guaranteed the bronze last Olympics. Yeah. Uh, well, they I'm might not, put him on the I'm team, not guaranteeing anything. That son of a bitch, 13th is, man, <laughs> you know, look, allegedly. Mm. You know, I want how many chemicals are flowing through that dude's body. He'll I, be able to give you twelve minutes till he's fifty. I ain't putting anything past that guy at this point because he. Hell, they up, might need him at forty three. It's possible. It's like the in the new uh, the new Wolverine Deadpool movie. Ryan Reynolds jokes, "You're gonna be doing this till you're 90. <laughs> They're never letting you go. That may be LeBron. LeBron's our Wolverine. He'll be like fifty two. We're like, sorry, buddy, we're we need you to roll your old ass out there. We need to give you ten minutes a night in the clutch. I just feel like. We need to be careful because the rest of the world is catching up to us, yeah. and we keep just doing this little charade of like, who yeah. wants to play in the? Who's really good and wants yeah. to play? I do. <laughs> don't don't hurt his feelings. He's yeah. too good. Put him on the team. We need to start building out a real basketball team. Well, I mean, because that's what the other countries are doing. They kind of did. I mean, y when you look at the addition of of uh, of Holiday, when you look at White, when the fact that Tatum again was stapled his ass to the bench, Kerr. He did that a little bit. Kerr talked about. It. He goes, "Hey man, I, like I'm running my rotations, and you can agree or disagree, but I'm not going to worry about what's on social media." Dude, this wasn't this a participation season. sort of uh, trophy event here for for U.S. basketball. Kerr has tried to run this more like a uh, an actual team, and yeah, and, but I'm, I'm more talking about the selection, yeah, the selection of the team. The, yeah, we well, need to we need to be careful. Yeah. Because the thing about the USA in basketball is we don't really go crazy when they win. No. That was cool today. We just expect them to win. Yeah. And that is changing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they they have the best. I mean, the best players in the world are all international players. Yeah. Is I mean, it weird that we're hyped up, though, because they almost blew it? If they had rolled by 20, would we even yeah, care? Yeah, well, 100%. That, that was, what happened today was way more fun than them winning 120 to oh, 89. Definitely. But at the same time, yeah. we're going to be pissed off. I'm <laughs> telling you. They lose. Yeah, they lose. The pitchforks are coming out because we're like, how on earth could you possibly lose? Well, the rest of the world's really good. Yeah. If you think about the best players in the world, it's Giannis, uh, Luka, and, and uh, Jokic. We well, look at all the MVPs like, over yeah. the last handful of years. Yeah, it's, and then Wemby is Wemby. soon to be. And so it's, I, I, they need to be careful. <laughs> I think they need to be careful.
Well, and, and the in other how one, they build that. And thing. the other one too is that if we do lose, uh, it, it, we have got to stop that. It's like the worst thing that ever happened. This is if if this was a seven game sort of thing, we would never lose. But how many times do we see this in the NCAA tournament or anything that's one and done? NFL, this happens all the time. Dude, anyone can get beat in a one-game series. So, dude, if the U.S. does stub their toe, whether it's against France or at the next Olympics or down the road, God, we have got to stop acting like we're just this uh, Thanos-like juggernaut that can't be defeated. Yeah, we can in a one-game sort of situation. So I love that we had this. And I hope no one does the, you know, oh, you know, the, the U.S., you know, we, we barely won. Yeah, we did barely win. We had a great game against a really damn good team. And that's all these guys now. Like you said, the world is caught up. Here's a uh, Vancouver Ford, wait, Vancouver Ford text line text. Mm -hmm. Is that what I meant there? Yeah, I think so. Vancouver we knew, we knew, Ford. We knew where you were going with that. LeBron will play in 2028. How else will Bronny make the team? <laughs> from deal i enjoyed that he's right and someone asking uh, if the european nations combined their basketball players would they beat the americans yes if you had the world against the u.s yes it'd be pretty tough you watch these guys yeah i think there is a thing about team usa players and we got to get that out of there i don't know who who brings it to the table but team usa players do not respect anybody that does not play in the nba yeah and you can clearly tell that yeah. because they get out hustled they get outworked and, you know, when it's Jokic, they, of course, respect. Or or Luka or Wemby. But maybe Wim not Wemby yet, but soon. Giannis, whatever. Yeah. But, yes, if there were a team of worlds, well, you'd have, so you'd the U.S. Have, would have to be built a lot better and play a lot harder. Well, it would be different because you'd have Jokic. You'd have Jokic in the middle. You'd have Giannis. Well, actually, you might. Could you play with Jokic and Embiid on the I guess Embiid's playing for the U.S., even though he's international. So take him out of it. I don't know why I was thinking this, because he probably should have been playing for the someone else. So you'd have Jokic, you'd have Giannis, Giannis, you'd have Luka. Uh, you'd have what? Marketing would probably be on there. Uh, who else? Siakam, he's Canadian. Uh, What's Manu Ginobili doing? Well, Por just, <laughs> Porzingis. He's old in Argentina somewhere. I'm just kidding. Uh, Porzingis, yeah. I mean, Porzingis. And again, that you'd have to be careful, much like I was just warning about Team USA, just putting star after star after star on the team. Yeah. You, the world would have to be careful of that too, because yeah. those guys. Yeah. There's I'm, only one ball. Yeah, I'm not ready to believe that we would automatic. Look, I think that'd be a hell of a game, but I ain't ready to say that we'd roll over and get our ass kicked. I mean, well, granted, I don't think anybody's saying they'd get their ass kicked. We have the some of the best players in the world, but we don't have the the top guys. The very top guys are none of them are American um, really? anymore. Yeah. And w the way this team's built, they're just they can be kind of hard to watch sometimes. You can just see it coming. They're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna lose to France. Maybe they get out of here with another gold. Next four years, eight years. Yeah, when LeBron, KD, and, and Dude, Steph go. Yeah. You know. But, hey, look. But for now. I had some pretty – look, it, it, eventually it could be in some really good hands with the, the likes of – as they grew up. And Edwards and, and, like, if John Morant gets going and Tatum. Let's not act like we have, like, no one. Well, I don't think anyone's saying the that. The bigs might be an issue. But Luca, Laurie – Marking in Giannis, Jokic, and Wemby. Ah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, ah, it's, it's pretty good. Ah, Again, only one ball. Ah, mm. ah. Everyone would hate Luca. <laughs> well, they might. They might implode because Luca's such yeah. a bitch. Giannis can't shoot, so right there, you know, screw him. The, then they get a taste like of Team USA medicine. That you know, the, that's what we do. Yeah, we yeah. infight and yeah. bitch and moan, and we lose because it's our own fault. Look. I mean, I love him, but what a bitch! <laughs> it's a good team though. It's not, it's not, it's not. It's not a bad team. Throw Wimby in there. That yeah. guy. All yeah, right. Because he's the next. He's the next guy. 